Hey everybody, Max coming here. It's Little Kitty Podcast. It's not too long. Well, just been, uh, just been, uh, just been, uh, applying for more jobs this week. Applied for four more jobs this week. Send them an application. You know, some of these jobs, you gotta, you gotta mail them in, dude. They don't accept email. It's like, dude, it's fucking 2021, dude. You want me to mail? I got a snail mail? Is that, re- is that what you're talking about, dude? You, you want me to snail mail this shit, dude? What, you never heard of the email? Oh, God, it's fucking 2021, dude. Come on. Yeah, so anyway, I went to the post office there, and I, uh... I mailed them. I mailed in my registered registered certified mail. Or it's called Kaki, Kaki Tome. It's called here in Japan. Kaki Tome. Uh... Registered mail, dude. Fucking Kaki Tome, dude. I had to pay 10 bucks for that bullshit, dude. Got 10 bu- What if I don't get the job? I want my 10 bucks back, dude. 10 bucks. These, these schools aren't even that far, man. They're, they're in the same city here. Got to pay 10 bucks for that shit? Fucking bullshit, dude. I want my 10 bucks back. I better get those jobs in this while. I'm also applying for this, like, translation job, too. You know? This hip, this hip, hip, hip state of the art company. Hip. It's hip. It's hip, it's new, it's exciting. It's, 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 it's it. It's what's happening. It's a happening company. Yeah, I looked on their webpage there and they're like, they're like, all, our, our, all of our employees get free coffee and free food. I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. That's all I care about. Tell me more about the coffee bar, dude. <laughs> like, they have this, they have this little video about what it's like to work at their company. And they, they show the, they show the video and it's just like the, the uh, employees just walk in there, sit down at the coffee bar, and then the barista serves them some coffee. It's just like, fuck yeah, dude. I don't have to work. I can just drink coffee. This is a great job. Awesome. Want to work here? Just drink coffee, dude. And then they show the buffet. It's like, fuck yeah, buffet. Eat some goddamn free food. This job, this job's awesome. And then your boss is like, hey, can you translate this? He's like, shut up, boss. All right, I'm drinking coffee and eating free food right now. All right, don't fucking bother me, you know. Anyway, hopefully I'll get that job, you know. I don't know. I don't know which one I want, to be honest. I guess which one, like, I guess if they pay the same, I'll probably take the teaching job. Because there's this one teaching job I applied for. It's only four days a week, which is, you know, it's good because I'm fucking lazy. And uh, you know, it's probably only like seven hours a day, four days a week. But the uh, translation job is probably like, you know, Nine to five, five days a week, you know, no, not many holidays, and you're working for the man, but uh, I kind of wonder which one would be better for my career, you know, do my fucking career, dude, because basically I don't think, I don't think, uh, I don't think my investments are going to pan out, you know, I can't retire early, because uh, I just lose money on all my investments, because the whole goddamn world is a bunch of goddamn fucking retards in, so I don't know. Uh, man, so yeah, so gold didn't recover at all this week, even though it took a giant diarrhea dump for no reason, uh, last week, you know, just cause, just cause some, uh, non-voting, non-voting Fed members said that they need to raise rates, even though they can't, uh, you know, gold took a giant diarrhea dump, you know, and, and three times this week, on, on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, it was going up, in Asia and London, it was going up. And then uh, immediately sold off the same exact pattern. So uh, I don't know if you guys know your technicals. I don't know if you guys know your technicals and when it comes to stocks, but there's the there's of course the Bollinger Bands, which uh, which uh, show the uh, how far the trades are off from the uh, from the uh, one standard deviation or two standard deviations. Right, that's the Bollinger Bands. Then of course there's the uh, the moving average. Right, there's the, uh, what's it called? Fuck, I don't even know. Oh, God, you know, there's like a, there's like the slow, uh, it's, not, it's not called the slow, there's like, there's these two things, slow moving average and like something else moving average, I don't know, fucking know, but they're basically these two lines and one of them is more, uh, more recent, using more recent data and the other one's using like the 30 day. Any hoot, any hoot, so basically, um, and then of course you got the candlesticks, right? So like sometimes, uh, you know that basically what happens is stocks stocks will either be trading above or below their moving average, and uh, 
Oh, this is fucking boring, man. Just talking about this is fucking boring. But basically, uh, the last three days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you know, gold opens. Gold opens uh, higher, like a percent higher than the day. And then as soon as the price, so when, when it opens, it's it's above the moving average, right? And so as it trades during the day, uh, even though it's trading at the same price, the moving average goes up because the average average trading price goes up, right? And as soon as the the moving average price hits the price that it's trading, it just took a di giant diarrhea dump. Right? The exact same thing happened on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. It opened 1% higher, and the exact moment that the that the trading price hit the moving average price, it just took a dump. And, it, and you know what that means? It means the goddamn algorithms are trading. It's mean, it means all the trading is being done by algorithms. Because they're the only ones that fucking look at that shit. Oh, God. It's just so annoying, you know? All the trading is just being done by algorithms and not and not the reality of the world. Oh, it's so annoying. It's like fucking Westworld, dude. Did you guys see that last season of Westworld? It was okay, dude. But, uh... Yeah, that goddamn, this goddamn algorithms, man. Anyway. Anyway. Anyway, uh, I don't know if you guys seen that, uh, that, uh, that building collapse in Florida there. Oopsies. Somebody fucked up. Somebody fucked up. The building collapse kind of just looked like 9-11. You know, you know, you know what the coincidence is about 9-11 and the building collapse in Florida? No Jewish people in those buildings. You ever think about that? You ever think about... There were no Jewish people in the two towers when they collapsed. You ever think about that? <laughs> and, you know, Florida's full of Jewish people, you know? Because all the Jewish people in New York, they all moved to Florida when they retire. In that Florida building, there was no Jewish people. You ever think about that, Dad? Look into it, bro. I'm not saying it's a conspiracy, but it's a conspiracy. Oh, man, yeah. God, that's got to be depressing, huh? You're sitting in your $2 million condo in Florida. You're just like, fuck, yeah. I make dividends, dude. I live in a condo on the beach in Florida. I'm fucking rich, you know? You're just sitting there reading a book, enjoying your Friday night or whatever night that was. Enjoying your Wednesday night. Just be like, yeah, what's on TV? Is is the Big Bang Theory on? Yeah. And then you hear a rumbling. It's like, oh, I was going on an earthquake. I'm in Florida. And then the building just collapses, and you're just like, oh, fuck. What a way to go, huh? That's a that's just depressing. I don't even know why I'm talking about this. Oh god. Uh, yeah, the news says uh, news says like okay, officially four people are dead, a hundred and sixty unaccounted for. It's like ah uh, well, I don't know maybe. Uh, maybe you probably had those hundred and sixty to the dead one. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know if you could survive that. I mean, I guess I guess it's possible. You know, anything's possible, but. Uh, Ah, it doesn't look too good, man. Doesn't look too good, but uh, of course, no Jewish people died. The Jews caused the 9/11 to collapse, and the and also the floor buildings. You know, anyway, uh, speaking of speaking of conspiracy time, uh, what's his face? John McAfee died. John McAfee died while he was in prison in Catalan, in Spain, Catalonia. Uh suicide that's what they say that's what they say but of course there's no jewish people in that prison huh you ever think about that look into it dude just look into it bro there was no jewish people in the spanish prisons dude just think about that yeah so um you know a lot of people think you know of course john mcafee he's kind of a crazy guy you know kind of did a lot of drugs he led a he led a bohemian lifestyle uh, you know, of course, he, he was wanted in Belize for, like, murdering his, murdering his neighbor or something, and, like, you know, people were trying to kill him, and, of course, he made all that money on the programming stuff, and, uh, he also said he had, like, a bunch of data on, uh, you know, Epstein-type shit, two, he had uh, two terabytes and seven gigawatts of data on the elites, on the global elites, and, you know, and that's why they were after him, you know, and, uh, you know, he was tweeting from prison, and he was saying he'd never kill himself. That was like a month ago, he said he would never kill himself, but people think he was just trolling, you know? Because he wanted to, like, make a conspiracy, but I don't know, man. I don't think that guy killed himself, you know why? Because he was a fucking narcissist. 
The narcissists don't usually kill themselves. I mean, look at, look at, uh, look at uh, Bill Cosby. You know, he's still in jail. He's still he's still doing shows in jail, and he's like, "What? Everyone loves me. I don't care. I'm fucking Bill Cosby. I'll rape more people in jail because I'm a goddamn narcissist." Yeah. And same thing with uh, same thing with uh, that fat guy. That fat guy. What's his name? Harvey Weinstein. You know, he's a narcissist. That's why he didn't run away. Cause he, you know, narcissists never. They're fucking narcissists. You know. I think McAfee was a narcissist too, so he probably never would have killed himself. I don't know. That's just my uh, that's just my opinion. You know. Also, there were probably no Jewish people there. And McAfee was Jewish. Even though McAfee's obviously not a Jewish name, it's probably an Irish name. And McAfee didn't really look Jewish at all. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know, dude. I don't know if he actually killed himself or not. Maybe he did, because they were going to extradite him. He didn't want to be tortured. He didn't want to be tortured in America, you know? So he's like, fuck this shit. This is fucking boring. Prison in Spain is born and can't do any cocaine. There's no goddamn whores here. When I was in prison in Belize, they gave us whores every week, man. What's going on with this prison in Spain? Yep. Oh, anyway, uh, rest in peace, John McAfee. You, he is a crazy man. He is a crazy man. All right, anyway, let's look at the uh, UFC fights tomorrow. We got serial gains. We got uh, serial Lucky Charms gains. We got cereal Captain Crunch Jane's gains. We got cereal Honey Nut Cheerios gains versus Alexander Volkov. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put ten bucks on cereal gains because he's Volkov is uh, you know he's a good boxer and he's been looking pretty good actually his last Volkov he's been looking better he's been looking a lot looking a lot better but I just don't think he you know he just doesn't do enough steroids is the problem. He's just not fast enough doesn't do enough steroids. And Serial Gain has basically the same reach. I think they have the same reach, even though... Yeah, Serial Gains... Serial Gains is shorter, but he's got the same reach because he's got, he's got these lanky arms, you know? And Volkov, basically, he only wins by using his reach to outbox dudes. And, uh, I don't know. I think Serial Gains is just... He's, he's, a hot, he's a hot new commodity, you know? He's a hot... He's a hot commodity, and I kind of want to lick him, you know? So anyway, uh... I think that's really the only fight, the only fight I feel comfortable betting on. God, I wonder what I wonder what the odds are though. I gotta look at that. I gotta look at that. I gotta look at that. Okay, let's see. We got some weird names here. The prelims. We got this guy named. Uh, his name's Kennedy. Nzechukwu. Nzechukwu. Kennedy Nzechukwu. Okay. All right, dude. Probably just change your name to Nganu. All right. We just need a whole bunch of Nganus. Because Nzechukwu is kind of weird. It's kind of hard to hard to pronounce there. And we got another guy. His name is his name's Shavkat. He's undefeated, thirteen and zero. I think I'm I think I'm my bet on this guy just because of his name. You know, his name's Shavkat Rak Rakmanov. All right, dude. That's a great name, Shavkat. I think if I ever have children, probably won't though. But if I ever do, I'm gonna name my kid Shavkat. Even if it's a even if it's a boy or a girl. I mean, that's a gender neutral name, right? Shavkat. Shavkat. Uh, you know, I do, I do know this guy named, uh, his name's Taylor, and, uh, he's kind of, uh, I guess he's, uh, I guess, he, I guess he, I don't know if he considers himself trans, or, he likes to dress up like a woman, you know, no big deal, whatever, dude, I don't know if he actually considers, I don't know if he actually, what do you call it, identifies as a woman, or if he, uh, still identifies as a man that dresses up like a woman, uh, but, you know, I was thinking about him the other day, and it's like, well, his name, his name's Taylor, you know, and that, that was, that was a pretty good move on their parents there, you know, to name him Taylor, because then, you know, if he ever transitioned, he wouldn't have to change his name, because that's a gender, that's a gender neutral name, you know, I'm wondering if that's going to happen, that's going to happen in the future, you know, everyone, everyone's just going to name their kids gender neutral names, because they're never sure, you know, it's like, well, what if they, well, what if they want to transition, you know, what if they want to transition, and, and they got to change their name, you know that's gonna that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Probably just give them a gender gender neutral name. If they won't ever want to cut their dick off or you know make their take a bunch of testosterone so their ovaries turn into balls. 
Probably just give him a gender neutral name like Shavcat. Uh, you know, anyway, uh, let's see what else we got. We got, we got another guy, another guy named Ike, Ike Villanueva, Vil, Villanueva, all right, all right, we got another guy, his name's, his name's Demir, Demir Hadzovic, and he's got a little hat on the Z, I don't even know how to pronounce that, dude, he's fighting, he's fighting a guy named Yancey, which I didn't even know was a real name, I thought the Simpsons, you know, Simpsons just had, uh, that name Yancey. I thought that was a joke, but uh, apparently it's a real name, Yancey. Yeah. Oh yeah. Speaking of transgender, man, I just, I just, I just thought, uh, you know, I don't want to get too political or too controversial here on the Little Cutie Podcast. You know, this is this is a family podcast meant for uh, meant for kids of all ages. You know, over eighteen only. Because uh, I say bad words. Don't say bad words. Yeah. What's that? Trans weightlifter Laurel Hubbard. Yeah. Okay. This person. What the fuck is wrong with this person? You know, it's like, I get it. You're trans. <laughs> but what the fuck are you doing? Being a, a weight... It's like, how... This is the biggest fucking narcissist... This is a bigger fucking narcissist than... Uh, than John McAfee, Bill Cosby, and Weinstein combined. This, this fucking trans person wants to compete against women. And, like, this does not help the cause of trans people. I, it's like, I don't know... What the fuck this person's doing? But you competing as a woman is not, uh, it's not helping, man. And it's like everyone's going, everyone's going fucking crazy. It's like, what do we, it's 2021. We got a, we got a, we got a man competing as a woman and a weightlifter, you know? And like people actually believe that there's no, there's no advantage. Like people are actually making arguments as, it's like, well, there's no advantage. There's no... What the fuck are you talking about? There's no advantage. Well, you never heard of puberty? You never heard of biological facts? You know, when, uh, when, when young little boys... When young little boys go through puberty, they produce a cosmic fuck ton of testosterone. You know, it's like they're on drugs. And it makes their skeleton bigger. It makes our skeleton bigger. It makes our jaws bigger. It increases our muscle cells, the number of muscle cells that we have. Right? That's why we can beat up women, you know? And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, you know, if you go through puberty as a man, you can cut your dick off, you can do whatever you want later, but it's not going to change your skeletal structure or the number of muscle cells do you have, you know? And that's the advantage. And people say, you know, it's like, <laughs> this person's like, well, uh, yeah, they don't have it. Well, she's fucking 43, he or she, whatever the fuck, is 43 years old. And competing in the Olympics. How many 43-year-olds competing in the Olympics? Not too many. Yeah? Not too many. It's like, Jesus Christ, what are we doing? New Zealand, man. What are you doing? Ah. Oh. oh, God. Ah, oh, what's wrong with this person? I just... It's a nar narcissist, man. It's a narcissist for taking over the world, dude. I don't have to say here. It's just like, oh, God. What about these? What about these other women? Yeah. I don't know. I can't think of anything funny, really. I'm just so disgusted. I'm just so disgusted. Not, not really that the, or. Yeah, just the, the fucking level of narcissism this person has. It's like, okay, if you want to be, if you want to be trans, you know, I think, I think, talked about this before. It's like, if you want to be trans, that's fine. You know, but you're not. You, you can't be. You can't, <laughs> you can't be an Olympic weightlifter as a woman, okay? Just fucking get over it, all right? There's certain things that'll just, you gotta get over, you know? I'm never gonna play in the NBA. I better fucking get over it. I could probably play in the WNBA, though, if I transitioned, you know? Oh, God. Oh, the world's gone full retard. You know, anyway, thanks for listening. Maybe we'll see you tomorrow.